Hi everyone, this is Erin from Respeacher, and today I'm going to show you how to use TakeBaker. TakeBaker is a tool that uses neural networks to let you convert your voice into many other different voices. So why don't we get started? Okay, so once you've created your account and accepted the terms of service and content restrictions, you're going to land on this page, the projects page. And if you have a new account like this one is, this page is going to be completely empty. Now before we go on, I just want to mention that we're using the Chrome browser. We do a limited testing of Firefox and Safari, but we mainly use Chrome for development, so I would strongly recommend you using Chrome with TakeBaker. I also want to mention that you can get help by clicking on this question mark at the top and selecting the get help option. You can also provide feedback such as feature requests, bug reports, and comment on the design of the app or quality of the conversions by selecting the provide feedback option. We'd be really grateful for any feedback that you can give us because this is an early version of the software and getting your feedback helps us make it better for you. Now you'll notice that the app is prompting me to do a calibration if I want to use the microphone or upload files for conversion. Calibration is a process where you record yourself talking or you upload a file of yourself talking for ideally about three minutes so that the app can adapt to your voice. I'm just going to click on this calibration link right here. Now we can upload a file here or use the microphone. Either way, we should use the same microphone and recording conditions as we use for recording data for conversion. For most of you, I would recommend using a condenser microphone with a USB input such as the Audio-Technica AT2020 or a Blue Yeti. And we also recommend minimizing reverb by recording relatively close to the microphone and in a room without too many hard surfaces. I'm going to select this Universal Audio Thunderbolt. That's my interface and it's connected to my Hale microphone. And I'm just going to press this red button and I'm going to record for three minutes. But I'm just going to skip through this part because you probably don't want to hear me yammer on just willy-nilly for three minutes. So skip forward. So we've done our calibration. And so now we can audition some virtual voice talent. So we're going to click this Audition Voices tab. And we're going to get to this table of a ton of voices that you can choose from. So for this project, why don't we go with an older female? And we've got two options here. So let's listen to them. All right, all right, just please hear me out. Respeacher is a voice cloning tool for discerning professionals. That's what it is. All right, all right, just please hear me out. Respeacher is a voice cloning tool for discerning professionals. That's what it is. Awesome, so why don't we choose Samantha? We're gonna go back to our project page here and we're going to select the new project button and then we're going to give our project a title let's call it Aaron to Samantha awesome and now under the project URL here you're going to see a list of voices that are available with your account now these voices are also called models um, that's because in the future there could be more than one model corresponding to a particular voice giving it different sound quality for instance Let's select Samantha and we're going to hit the create project button. Awesome. Now we're back on the project page and we can see the project we created. Okay, so let's click on our project to enter it. Now we see this button labeled new phrase. Let's add a new phrase to our project and it's going to bring up this window and we're just going to enter the text in there. So let's do hi, my name is Aaron. Let's. Now in our project, you're going to see these three tabs marked microphone, file, and text-to-speech. So these are the three ways you can use the voice conversion. You can record your own voice and convert it within the app. You can upload an audio file for conversion, or you can type in text and generate a recording that way. So we're going to start with the microphone option, but you're going to need to have your microphone connected to your computer and selected in the drop-down menu here. And since we've selected the universal audio interface during calibration, it's already selected here. So you just have to make sure that you have the correct microphone selected. Um, and before we actually record, just make note that this is called, this thing right beside it is called the VU meter. And this is where you can see the incoming level from your microphone. 
You'll want to make sure this is somewhere in the middle and, and is green. Um, you want to make sure you're not clipping into the red zone. And this means that your microphone input is too loud. So just watch this area here. And you also don't, you want to make sure it's not too quiet as well. So let's record a take. Hi, my name is Aaron. Okay, so now we've recorded the take and you're going to see the new take come up under the phrase and it's going to begin converting pretty much immediately. And this could take a few minutes, so we'll just wait and see what happens. Okay, now while the neural networks are working, let's check out the different layouts we can use. Right now, I'm using the grid layout, which shows you the original and the modeled speech beside each other. You also have the list view where you can see the conversions listed vertically. The list view is great if you're converting each take to many voices at once. You'll also notice that in both layouts, there's the download, star, and trash buttons. The download button allows you to download the files to your computer, the star button allows you to mark your best takes, and the trash button gets rid of the take altogether. You can also download an entire project from the project list. The download project link lets you choose between downloading all the recordings or just the starred ones. You can mark recordings you like with a star like this. So next we've got the file tab that allows you to upload an audio speech file for conversion. So we're going to click this upload file button and select the file we want to use. So we're just going to use this one and I recorded that previously. So let me open it and it's going to begin conversion immediately as well. So lastly, we've got the text to speech tab and that allows us to type in the phrase for conversion. So I'm just going to type in the phrase in the text box. Um, hi, my name is Aaron. And then I'm going to choose the source speaker I want and I'm just going to stick with US English and convert it. So now we're just going to wait for the conversion to complete and we'll see what happens. Now the conversion just completed, so let's listen to the original and the converted speech. So this is our microphone. Hi, my name is Aaron. And this is our converted microphone. Hi, my name is Aaron. This is our uploaded file. Hi, my name is Aaron. And this is our converted uploaded file. Hi, my name is Aaron. And then lastly, we've got the text-to-speech option, and we just have the converted file for that. Hi, my name is Aaron. So those are our three conversions. You can also change some of the parameters of your model using this project settings button. So here you can see all the models you can use. You can also adjust the pitch up and down using this pitch correction slider. You're gonna wanna make sure that the final pitch falls within the range of pitches that your target voice is capable of. In some cases, adjusting the pitch can help you get into the target's natural range, but if you do more extreme adjustments, like to the very ends, sometimes it can prevent the conversion from working properly. You also want to make note that any parameter changes that you make only affect future conversions. The conversions you've already done will remain the same. So, why don't we try something, why don't we try lowering the pitch here? Um, let's record another take. Hi, my name is Aaron. And we'll just wait for this conversion to complete. So our new conversion is just completed, so let's listen to the pitch corrected and non-pitch corrected ones side by side. So here's the non-pitch corrected file. Hi, my name is Aaron. And here's the pitch corrected one. Hi, my name is Aaron. And I kind of like the lower one better because I think it sounds more like the target speaker. So let's just star it. And yeah, you can play around with that slider and see what you like best. Now, if you need multiple voices in your project, instead of changing the voice in the project settings each time, 
I would recommend creating a new project for each voice. That way you can easily switch between the projects using this drop down menu here. And finally, if you need to delete the project, you can do it from the projects page by clicking this button. You can also access the project settings here. And as I showed you before, this is where you can download the entire project or the starred recordings in it. Thank you so much for checking out Respeecher and I really hope you have a blast trying out the software. Happy converting.